KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Halloween, Wednesday, October 31st. I'm James Spann. Much of the state dry today. The big deal is tomorrow with rain and storms likely statewide, a chance of some severe weather, especially for South Alabama, and another chance of severe storms possibly by Tuesday of next week. It is the late fall severe weather season. It begins tomorrow. So here we go. Upper air look this morning. Big trough in the western states that is progressive. That'll set the stage for a stormy day tomorrow. Behind the system, it's cold. Ahead of the system, it's mild. That's the way it works. You can see that warmer air coming up through parts of the eastern U.S. Flash flood watches in advance of the storm system from western Tennessee up into parts of Ohio. Got winter storm warnings for parts of Colorado and New Mexico where big snows are falling there. Later today and tonight, severe storms will likely break out west of Alabama. Uh, we have an enhanced risk of severe weather, including places like Houston, Monroe, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi. The standard slight risk as far east as Meridian, and the marginal risk comes over to the Alabama-Mississippi border. Keep in mind, this runs until 7 a.m. tomorrow. And then tomorrow, the 1st of November, have a risk of severe storms across parts of the southeastern states. The SPC guys have pulled that standard slight risk farther to the south. Uh, the slight risk, level 2 out of 5, in effect for areas south of a line from near Linden to Grady, just south of Montgomery, and over to, to Eufaula. And that's where the greatest tornado threat will be. And we'll talk about the specifics on this later. We have a marginal risk for a pretty good chunk of North Alabama. That's the lowest end threat, level one out of level five. Then for day three, which is Friday, we have a marginal risk of severe storms for parts of the South Atlantic coast region. Here's the rain for the next seven days, valid through Wednesday morning of next week. The east, again, looking pretty wet. Keep in mind, this uh, will take the rain in we get tomorrow. The rain we see Tuesday of next week. Rain amounts between two and three inches are likely statewide. And that often happens as you get into November. Things get pretty active around here, typically. Tropics, again, uh, Hurricane Oscar. Barely a hurricane, top wind 75 miles an hour. This thing slingshots out to sea, no threat to land. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06E run, valid this afternoon at 1, troughing to the west. And again, for us, the day should be pretty nice. Uh, mild, highs today, mid to upper 70s, partly sunny. There could be a few isolated showers this evening over far west Alabama, but most places will be dry. Great for the trick-or-treaters. This is after midnight tonight, 1 a.m. tomorrow. Surface low developing west of Memphis, batch of storms just to the west. And then at midday tomorrow, the surface low is over Kentucky, not especially deep, 1,006 millibars with a batch of rain and storms coming in here. We'll check the severe weather parameters. This is uh, valid tomorrow morning at 10. And this is the surface base cape, and there's just not much for North Alabama, and that's the big limiting factor. The better cape values are down over far south Alabama. This is the storm relative helicity. Those higher values are over the northern counties where there's no instability. But again, there's enough shear for South Alabama for a low-end tornado threat. And the STP, the significant tornado parameter. And uh, you have to get down into South Alabama to find a value over one. And those numbers are really not as high on this run as we've seen on other runs. But again, there could be a few isolated tornadoes, but it's more than likely going to be a squall line, a QLCS, quasi-linear convective system. The main threat for South Alabama, strong damaging winds. An isolated tornado can't be ruled out. In terms of the timing, uh, this is what the weather service is using, and we pretty much agree with that. Uh, the storms could enter uh, West Alabama 4 a.m. early tomorrow, uh, 4 until 9 for West Alabama, 7 to noon for places like Birmingham, and then 10 to 4 for the eastern side of the state. And there could be some rain outside of those windows, but that's the window for the stronger storms. And, of course, we'll watch things carefully as always, but that's the way it looks now. Now, this is Friday, going to be a cloudy and very cool day. We'll probably stay in the 50s all day. And there could be a bit of lingering light rain in spots, so cloudy, damp, cool, some patchy light rain. 
but Saturday looks beautiful. We're expecting a bright, sunny day on Saturday. The weekend begins. We start the day down around 40. Many of the colder pockets will see 30s. The high Saturday should be in the upper 60s. And then Sunday, got a cold front to the west, but the day should be nice, uh, partly sunny with a high close to 70. And that cold front kind of creeps in here Sunday night. That might kick off a few showers. This is Monday. The front is to the east. And this is suggesting a decent part of the day Monday could be dry. We've seen other runs that show a chance of showers. But this is what we have to watch for here. This is Tuesday. And I'll be honest with you, that's a pretty uh, potent look there in terms of thunderstorms if this verifies. A sub-1,000 millibar low north of here with a trailing front. And that might bring severe storms in here Tuesday of next week. We'll see. This could change. But that's the way it looks now. And then a week from today, this is Wednesday the 7th, a deep trough over the east, and that system is on by as the low really deepens up around the Great Lakes. The Witch of November up there. And that would be much cooler. We'll go out 10 days. This is uh, Friday of next week, the 9th. Zone will flow in a fairly dry air mass. Here are the numbers after, uh, and that thing says 81 today. I guess uh, parts of West Alabama might see that. We're expecting upper 70s in most spots. Then low 70s tomorrow, and then Friday will be in the 50s much of the day. And after that, highs mostly in the 60s and lows mostly in the 40s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. 